What are you doing? Nothing. Hmm. I'm asking, what are you doing? Well, I'm collecting nectar and pollen from the flower of a plant. Nectar? What is called nectar? It is a liquid made by flowers of different plants. It is very sweet because it has sugar in it. I use this nectar to make honey. What? I'm not getting it. You will be able to grab it more better. Well, our today's topic is all related to this only. Pollination. Yes, our today's topic is all about pollination. Beautiful flowers. Want to know about what's inside it? Let's check it. Transfer of pollen grains from enter of a flower to the stigma of a female flower is known as pollination. There are two kinds of a flower. A flower which has both the male and female parts. A flower which has either male or female part. Okay. Now, wondering about the female and male parts of a flower? Well, I'll tell you. We are having different, different male and female parts. Likewise, male parts are different in a human being and female parts are different in a human being. In the same manner, plants are also having different parts. Male ones are having different and female ones are having different. We will learn more about this in this whole pollination. Now let's begin with male parts. Enter. Part that contains pollen. This is your enter. Okay, in this picture, this one is your enter. And the tiny things which is present inside the enter. They are pollens, filaments, long tube that supports the anther. This is your filament, okay? This long tube that supports the anther is known as filament. Jointly, they are called stamen of a flower because they are the male parts of a flower. Now, let's move on to the female parts. We are having four female parts present over here. Stigma, style, ovary and ovule. When combined together, they are known as pistils. Now I will tell you one by one what they all are. Stigma, sticky part at the top of flower to trap pollens. This is your stigma. This is really very sticky. When any bee or a butterfly will come and sit over the stigma, Pollen grains will automatically stick to this portion and hence resulting in further formation. I'll tell you how. Second one is style. It connects the stigma and ovary. This one is your style. It connects stigma to the ovary portion. Understood? Now, third one is ovary. This round round portion, this is your ovary. It contains of views and helps in fertilization that means later on it will help in reproduction of a new seed this one is your ovary can you see this and the last one is of view it develops into a seed after fertilization when the fertilization process will take place inside the ovary just because enter they are going inside the stigma through this filament tube and they are moving inside so fertilization would take place resulting in a new seed and it develops into a new seed just because of the ovule can you see this diagram observe it very carefully yellow portion yellow tiny dots these are the pollen grains pollen grains are produced by the anther anther of a male part okay pollen grains are produced by the anther it helps the plant to reproduce and give birth to a baby plant now got my point pollen grains will always be present inside the anther 
insects like bees, bats, flies, beetles and butterflies sit on plant and carry these pollen grains from enter to stigma which holds the pollen grain remember thus which helps in fertilization process they are known as pollinators pollinators play a very major role in pollination process if they will not be there then pollination would not take place at any cost now look at this what pollinators exactly are a pollinator is anything that moves pollen from the male anther of a flower to the female stigma of a flower just for the sake of fertilization which results in formation of a new seed and then a new plant called seedling as we have already discussed much about the parts of a flower but look at this petals beautiful and colorful we are having different colorful petals in the flower world they are very attractive part of a flower which attracts the pollinators now sepals the green one beautiful green one it protects the developing of a plant it helps the plant to stand properly and to grow well kids do remember pollination is very important because it leads to the production of fruits and seeds for humans and for animals so i hope you all must have understood this uh, topic well now here is your homework you will do your homework very properly number 1 learn all the important terms related to pollination Number 2 draw a well labeled diagram of parts of flower. Number 3 draw a picture of pollinators such as bees and butterflies and color them according to yourself. I hope you all are enjoying this online classes. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for further more videos. Until then stay tuned. Happy learning. Take care and be safe. I'll be back with some of more interesting facts to you. Miss you. Take care. Bye.